Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips. And in this video, I'm going to be speaking to you about how you can optimize your Zyro.com website for the major search engines such as Google, Yahoo, and Bing. So for those of you who may not know, SEO stands for search engine optimization. And that is basically the art of manipulating your website in such a way that appeases the major search engines. In this video, I'm going to be giving some of the basics. I'm gonna be showing you how to submit your Zyro.com website directly to Google using Google Search Console. And I'm gonna be showing you a little bit of keyword placement. Now I have done other videos on search engine optimization, more advanced videos as well. So I'll leave some of those in the description down below. So make sure you go and click those links so you don't miss out. And this video is kindly sponsored by Zyro as well as they would like to help you to push your website forward so you can be more competitive in the search engines. So as you can see, I'm actually on Google Search Console right now, and this is where you can directly submit an entire map of your website to Google, and it's really simple to do. It sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. So first things first, you will need a domain name attached to your Zyro.com website in order to really start doing this. But once you have that, you can literally go to Google and type in Google Search Console. I'll also leave a link to the Google Search Console in the description down below as well, which will take you straight to this page. And you basically want to paste in your URL where it says URL prefix and then click on continue. And then it will be checking your verification status. So you need to verify that you own this website. And the way that you do that is by coming down here to where it says HTML tag clicking on that downward little button there and copying this little tag that it has here. Um, and then you wanna go back to your Zyro.com website. So here I am back in my Zyro.com website and I want to click on the website in question and then go to settings. And once I'm there, I want to go to integrations and then I want to scroll down to where it says connect your website with other tools or services. And as you can see, this allows you to paste the snippet of code provided by the tool service below and it will insert into the head section of your website. So that is what we want. We want to paste in the code that we got uh, into there and we want to save those changes. And that should, once it's green, it should save those changes for us. So we should be all connected now. Then now the next time you go into Google Search Console, it should identify that your website has been verified and you should be able to access a Google Search Console. So once you're on the inside of Google Search Console, the next thing you want to do is actually make sure that all of the variations of your website have been added to Google Search Console. So uh, when you come up here, you can actually click this downward arrow. So it should have your website URL here. You can click that downward arrow and you will see all of the properties that you've currently added. Now, as you can see, these are just my same website, but with different variations. So I've got my HTTP version without the www. I've got the HTTPS version without the www. And I've got the HTTPS version with the www. And the HTTP version with uh, the www. So you want to make sure you add all of these versions of your site. Basically, even though these are all direct into my website and whatever way in which you use to come to my website, it will direct you to the same site. Google sees these as different domains. So you want to make sure that you add all of your domain variations here so that Google can see them all as one domain. And you simply do that by adding a property. Now, another thing that you should also make sure is that you, when you're setting up your Google Search Console account, you're actually using a Gmail that you're likely to check often now. This is because Google will actually send you information um, step by step on some of the things you need to do to make sure that your Google Search Console account has been set up effectively. So you wanna make sure you go through that. It's gonna go through some of the things I speak about in this video. But also, if Google has any troubles in the future, indexing your website or if there are any major errors then they will actually email you directly and you can go and log into your search console account and see if you can make amendments to your website and hopefully improve your search engine rankings but you also want to come down here to where it says site maps and you want to submit your site map to google search console now because you're using a zyro.com website then that should be pretty easy all you should have to do is type in here sitemap.xml and that should be where your sitemap is. So the way you can double check that 
is by going to your browser, typing in your domain name and typing in sitemap.xml and it should take you to a page where you can kind of see different links out to your site. You should see your sitemap there and, and that's an indication that that is the correct sitemap and you can submit that and that will submit the entire website to Google Search Console. Now, I also wanted to speak about some other elements that are really important with regards to your search engine optimization on your Zyro website. First and foremost, let's talk about your pages. So it's really important to remember that the more pages and blog articles you have on your Zyro website, the more opportunities you have to be found in search. This is because the search engines don't rank entire websites, but they actually rank individual web pages. So that means you can optimize each and every page and each and every article on your Zyro website for a different keyword. Now I've done videos before on keyword research and I'll, again, I'll leave some of my SEO videos in the description down below. So if you want more of an in-depth understanding of how SEO works, make sure you go and check out those videos. However, you can actually add a blog to your Zyro website by clicking here onto blog and you can easily start and publish a blog here. Um, you can create blog articles and each of these blog articles should be optimized, like I said, for a unique keyword. Um, so let's say, for example, I go into this uh, pre-done blog for me. You wanna make sure that whatever keyword you're going after for this particular blog is actually in your title and within the body of your text as well. And this is the same for your other pages. So I'm gonna go, uh, to pages and I'm going to go to a shop page and whatever keyword it is you're targeting with this particular page you want to make sure that it is in the heading one tag of your page so let's say my keyword for this was uh, tank tops for example um, then I'm going to want to make sure that the, the term tank tops is actually in the heading one and how you know it's in the heading one tag is when you highlight it it should say heading one. Now you might also want to add a sub heading to this particular uh, page as well. Um, so maybe I want to add, uh, go in there and add headings. Uh, maybe I want to add a little subheading here. Um, I can actually make this, instead of a heading one, I can make this a heading two tag. Um, uh, best tank tops to wear this, summer and that means I actually have my keyword in my heading one tag and in my heading two tag. Now obviously I'm just quickly rushing this to show you how it's done but you want to make sure that your web pages of course are designed well. You want to take a lot more time than I'm taking here now to create a well-designed website and well-designed web pages but as a rule of thumb whatever keyword you're going after for any particular page or blog article on your Zyro.com website, you wanna make sure that at least you have your main keyword in your heading one as your heading and also your heading two as your subheading, have your keywords in there. So as well as having our keywords in our H1 and our H2, we also might want to add a body of text as well. So if we drag a text element to our, our page as well, um, then we might actually add a paragraph or two here or a description here about what this page is about and again we got, we're going to want to make sure that this text actually includes our keywords as well so that's really important make sure that you have your keywords in your heading one your heading two and in the actual body of text that you write for your page as well um, now it's really important as well to think about the different images you're going to be putting on your site because you can actually optimize your images as well and when I click on the image you can actually click on where it says change image and you can actually go to SEO settings and write alt text here as well so again whatever that image is about you want to put that in your alt text and if you can include your keywords make sure you do now another thing that you're going to want to make sure you do for each and every page of your site is look at this gear icon and you're going to want to click on that gear icon and go to page settings um, and you can actually change your navigation. Now I don't necessarily recommend changing your, na your navigation to something that is SEO friendly. You more so want to gear your navigation towards something that makes sense 
for your website so that your website users know what page they want to click on. However, um, when you do go to SEO settings, you can change the page title and you can also change the page description as well. So you want to make sure that your page title contains your main keywords as well as your page descriptions. Remember, these are likely to show up in the search results if your page is ranking in Google. So make sure that your page title and your page description is somewhat enticing as well so that it's not just showing up in Google, but it also entices people to actually click when they do see that page in Google. Now, if I go to another page, let's say for example, my shop page, and I go to page settings, I can also change the page URL as well. Now that is really important, a really important place to have your keywords. So instead of shop, um, I might put here uh, whatever the keyword is that I'm going for with this particular page. Um, again, you can do this for your blog articles too. You can change the URL. So I highly recommend doing that to help you to improve your overall SEO for your Zyro website. Now, those are just a few basic things that you can do to optimize your Zyro website. Now, I wanted to quickly show you how to optimize your products as well for Zyro. So obviously if you're starting an e-commerce website using Zyro, um, then you can actually add products. And these are products that are already been populated within Zyro. But if I go and edit this product, then they actually have an SEO tab here. And I'm gonna get into that in a second. But similar to your pages, you know, you want to name your product something that is SEO friendly, give it an SEO friendly title um, and make sure that your keywords are within your description as well. Um, you can also add a product subtitle too. So this might be a great opportunity for you to add a variation of your keywords um, as well so that the search engines can pick up on that. But also you have this helpful SEO tab as well. And this helps you to easily edit your uh, meta title and your meta description as well. And as you can see, when you edit it, uh, you actually get to see what it looks like up here as well. It gives you um, kind of an example of what it will look like in the actual search engines. Now, this is really important. So make sure you do this for all of your product pages, making sure that your keywords are not necessarily just uh, in your name and in description, but make sure you also edit the uh, meta title and meta description of every single pay, every single product on your website as well as every single page and blog article on your website too. Now, if you haven't registered for Zyro yet, you can actually register using my coupon code DAYTIPS, that's D-E-Y-T-I-P-S. I'll also leave a link in the description down below as well with details on how much of a percentage it gives you off of your Zyro package. But I really do hope that this video helped you out with regards to optimizing your Zyro website for the major search engines. Um, I also have my formula guys, which is beside me. So if you're serious about driving traffic to your website via the search engines and other means, social media marketing, email marketing, paid marketing, then make sure you download the free formula and you know, really start to increase your knowledge on how to drive not just traffic, but sales back to your Zyro website as well. I also have a playlist on SEO, which I will leave in the description down below. So if you want more in-depth tutorials on how to improve your organic rankings in Google, then make sure you go and watch some of those videos. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. And if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.